in. My name is Bunny and this is Bunny DIY. I hope you are ready for some spoopy crafts. This sounded so dumb. <laughs> this sounded good in my head. <laughs> Do over. <laughs> Hi coffee beans. How's it brewing? This time I was like, whoa, hands. Okay, do over again. Hi, coffee beans. How's it brewing? This is Bunny DIY, and my name is Bunny. Welcome to my channel. This is episode two for Spoopy Season. If you didn't already, go check out Spoopy episode one, Spoopy Season three, episode one. Whoa. <laughs> um, I uploaded that a little while ago, and um, I'm really proud of it, but no spoilers. Go check it out if you haven't already. Also, you can check out my two previous Spoopy Season um, playlists <laughs> from previous years. It's a lot of Halloween-inspired crafting fun. Now, for the last several months, because I have been gone for like eight months, um, again, I'm so sorry, I just need need to take this seriously but a little less seriously so i can take my mental health into account right 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 i think we can all agree mental health is important um so i digress what i've been doing or one of the things i have been doing you can hear my drawer opening is discovering kind of a new art form i don't even know what to call it really like scribble art. I don't know. I have fully embraced my love for Posca's and I created, which way is the top? This. <laughs> I am so in love with it. Every time I see it, it gives me a good giggle. Look at their little faces. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's my own thing that I painted, but the faces still get me like this face. I can't. <laughs> um, I also created this. Um, just kind of like an opposite. So white with black lines, black with white lines, no faces. <laughs> I prefer the faces. I don't know about you guys. So I thought for today, and can I just say a huge shout out to my amazing husband. He went out and bought me some canvases just so I could do this video for you guys. Um, I have two white, two black in um, eight by eight. Um, so I'm going to do two different paintings in this kind of scribble art style um which i highly recommend because it's very freeing and very um mindless like you just don't have to think you just scribble and have fun but i'm gonna do something like this on two canvases not four two canvases in a halloween potentially spoopy hopefully spoopy style um and i even bought do do do. I really kind of spoiled myself, everybody. I bought a whole bunch of Poscas. Um, I originally was going to only going to get like the basic pack, but then I saw the pastels, and then I saw the metallics, and then I said, never mind, I can't resist. So I got a whole huge pack um, of Poscas. So. I'm gonna paint these canvases with Posca's. I'm very excited about it. But before I do that, one, I need to decide which, am I gonna do black, am I gonna do white, am I gonna do one black, one white? I have no idea. But what I do need to do once I decide is cover them in gesso. I'm probably, if I do black, I'm gonna cover it in just black acrylic paint because I don't have black gesso. But I learned from this guy, I did not prep the canvas at all, and it took several, several, several layers of Posca, believe it or not, to get the um, opacity I wanted because the canvas was so rough on the markers. Um, if you've ever experienced Poscas, you know that they're very opaque, um, but I feel like the marker tips can be a little sensitive. They're a little sensitive to textures and the canvas texture was not its friend. I decided to go with a white canvas and black canvas. I primed them with these colors, except the gesso, minus the gesso, just ignore the gesso. I used this gorgeous purple on my white canvas and proceeded to squeeze way too much onto the canvas. But hey, I'm new to painting on canvases, so I have no concept of how much paint I actually need. 
And don't worry, I just used the extra to paint my other white canvas. So, you know, no waste, I promise. I also painted the black canvas with, drum roll, black paint. Did you expect a different color? Now that both canvases are dry, I can finally get started on my designs. Starting with purple first, I carefully sketched my design on top of the canvas. I was terrified I was going to poke a hole or scrape the paint off, but it was fine, everything's fine. I sketched out my spoopy ghost. If you've been watching for a while, you may recognize this ghost. He's been lurking around in some of my other videos, popping up when you least expect it, and usually accompanied by music that may or may not be The X-Files. It's all very strange. But I thought he'd be perfect for a purple Halloween painting. Now here's the fun part. Now that my ghost is sketched, it's time to really let loose and just scribble. Seriously, I'm just scribbling. Scribbling, that's all I'm doing. That's the whole key of this style of artwork. Just lightly trace swooping lines all over the surface so it looks like a giant squiggly ball. They can be big open spaces or small cramped spaces. Just do what you feel. In this case, I made big swoopy lines so that I would have bigger shapes to color because I knew I was using Posca markers. Then I took three different Posca colors and started coloring in all the shapes. My goal, or challenge to myself, is to try and color so that the same color never touches itself. It's a really fun challenge. I mean, it's not that difficult, but it's fun. Anyway, I decided on white, light blue, and gray. colored in the eyes and mouth as I worked so I could see clearly where they were. And ignore this gray and white portion over here, they were a mistake. I thought it was part of the ghost, but it's not, so I'll cover that up when I do the background. the arms which admittedly kind of look um not like arms <laughs> mammary <laughs> am i allowed to say that <laughs> anyway they're arms they're arms once the ghost was done i moved on to the background using the same technique this time i'm using yellow dark orange and light orange just kidding yellow dark orange and brown tan Light brown? Pink? I went with pink? Okay, pink. I went with yellow, dark orange, and pink, apparently. I did three coats of each color to get the opacity that I liked. Then I outlined all the background squigglies in silver pasta. I outlined my ghost in thick black pasta. Then 
and the inside squigglies with my thin black Posca. I wanted these lines to be more delicate since they're inside the shape, and I wanted the shape of the ghost to stand out, not the inside squigglies. And I touched up all the inside colors where there was some contamination. And I finished by signing the bottom. Ah, just kidding! I hate the pink. <laughs> So I changed it to a dark red, which I like a lot better. Moving on to the black canvas, I decided an awesome spoopy jack-o'-lantern would be perfect. I did the same techniques as the ghost. I sketched my jack-o'-lantern and gave him a spoopy face. He's not supposed to be scary, just super happy it's Halloween. Like, hi guys, trick or treat. <laughs> <laughs> Super spoopy, goofy jack-o'-lantern. The only difference is this time I outlined it in silver Posca before doing the squigglies, so I'd actually be able to see where the jack-o'-lantern design is. Remember when I messed up the colors on the ghost? I did not want to repeat that. Once the Posca was dry, I added my big squigglies all over the canvas, and it's time to color. After my spoopy ghost fiasco, I had an existential crisis trying to decide colors. <laughs> I knew I wanted pumpkin colors, so I did yellow, oranges, reds, browns, tans. I had no idea what I wanted to do. <laughs> but I eventually decided on dark brown, tan, and green for the stem, eyes, and mouth. Orange, yellow, and red for the pumpkin. Then, like the ghost, I colored everything in. panicked again over the background colors, but I knew I really wanted them to contrast with the bright pumpkin, but still kind of tie together with the ghost, so I picked green, blue, and purple. The Poscas were definitely dragging up the black paint color from the canvas as I was going, and it was making the colors muddier and muddier, so I definitely had to give this whole canvas several coats of Posca to cover up the black muddiness. Oops! Surprise! I colored the stem, eyes, and mouth all dark brown. <laughs> I didn't like the different tones of browns and greens that I did originally, so I made the executive decision to color over them and pretend it never happened. Oh, uh, what were we talking about? The good news is I love the other colors though, so you know, small victories. Now that everything is colored in and dried, I outlined my jack-o'-lantern in thick black Posca. And I outlined the background in white Posca, before going back and outlining the inside of the jack-o'-lantern with thin black Posca. Finally, I went through and cleaned up all of my paint splotches and signed the bottom. Now, I didn't seal either of these in varnish, although I probably should, mainly because every time I try to seal paint, it ends up bleeding, and I really didn't want that to happen with all these colors. Anyway, they're done, and I adore them. 
They are so easy to make and only took me a few hours. It would have been quicker if I didn't have to wait for paint to dry. I love this type of painting or this style of art. It's so mindless and relaxing and great for an evening after a stressful day. I know most of us have those, right? It's not just me. <laughs> I sincerely hope all of you try this out on your own. You can use canvases or just use scratch paper and crayons. I promise you'll love it. Follow me on Instagram at bunnydiy and tag me in your art because I would really love to see. Thank you so much for joining me for another spoopy episode. I hope you all have an amazing, fun, and safe Halloween. Make sure you subscribe and join the Coffee Bean family so you don't miss out. You can get notified when I to toast, not when I toast. You don't get notified when I toast, <laughs> unless you want toast. But you can get notified when I post by clicking the bell. Happy Halloween, Coffee Beans! Love you a latte!